Ever wondered what's the difference between various display technologies? Well, let's dive right in. We begin our journey with the TFT LCD, a technology that has been lighting up our screens for years. It works by controlling light transmission through liquid crystal cells using thin film transistors. While it offers decent color reproduction and viewing angles, it can be quite power hungry. TFT LCD has been the backbone of the majority of screens for a long time, but technology has evolved. Now, what about IPS LCD? How does it differ from TFT LCD? IPS, standing for in-plane switching, enables the liquid crystal cells to align horizontally to the screen rather than at an angle. This alignment results in superior color reproduction and wider viewing angles. However, this technology does require more power, meaning that devices using IPS LCDs may have a shorter battery life. In comparison to TFT LCD, IPS LCD is an upgrade, offering a more vibrant display, but it does come with an increased power demand. So, IPS LCD offers better color reproduction and wider viewing angles, but at the cost of power consumption. Moving on to the OLED family, how do OLED, AMOLED, and Super AMOLED compare? Let's start with OLED, or organic light-emitting diodes. Unlike LCDs which require a backlight, each pixel in an OLED display emits its own light. This leads to deep blacks as pixels can be completely turned off and vibrant colors. Next, we have AMOLED, which stands for Active Matrix Organic Light-Emitting Diodes. It's basically OLED with an active matrix. It offers faster pixel switching, making it great for dynamic content like videos or games. Super AMOLED is Samsung's version of AMOLED. It integrates touch sensors into the display itself, reducing thickness and making the screen even more responsive. In terms of color reproduction and viewing angles, OLED and its variants outshine TFT LCD and IPS LCD. They deliver more saturated colors and wider viewing angles, but there's a trade-off. OLED displays consume more power when displaying bright colors. OLED and its variants offer fantastic color reproduction and viewing angles, but they can be power hungry, especially when displaying bright colors. Next up, we have Dynamic AMOLED and Dynamic AMOLED 2X. What sets them apart? Dynamic AMOLED screens offer an exceptional range of colors and remarkable viewing angles, making every image feel alive. Meanwhile, Dynamic AMOLED 2X maximizes this brilliance even further. However, with all these perks, there's a trade-off, power consumption. These displays are energy thirsty compared to their TFT and IPS counterparts. So Dynamic AMOLED displays take color reproduction to the next level, but they can also consume a lot of power. Let's explore LTPS LCD and LTPS OLED. How do they stack up? LTPS, or Low Temperature Polysilicon, is a type of technology used in high-end LCD and OLED displays. The key advantage of using LTPS technology is its lower power consumption, which is why it's commonly used in smartphones and tablets. When it comes to LTPS LCD, the pixels are more densely packed compared to traditional LCD displays. This results in sharper images and better color reproduction. However, they still can't produce true blacks like OLEDs can. Switching gears to LTPS OLED, it has the same benefits as other OLED displays such as superior color reproduction and wider viewing angles. The added advantage is, of course, the lower power consumption thanks to the LTPS technology. Comparing these two with other display technologies, the LTPS LCD and LTPS OLED are superior in terms of power efficiency. However, in the realm of color reproduction, AMOLED displays still hold the crown. LTPS displays offer improvements in power consumption, but they can't match the color reproduction of AMOLED displays. Finally, we have the Retina Display and Micro LED. What makes them special? Well, Retina Display, a term coined by Apple, refers to a screen with such high pixel density that the human eye can't discern individual pixels at a normal viewing distance. This results in incredibly crisp images and sharp text. Micro LED, on the other hand, is a newer display technology. Each pixel is a tiny, self-emitting diode. This means a micro LED display can turn off individual pixels, achieving true blacks and an infinite contrast ratio, much like an OLED display. When it comes to color reproduction, both Retina Display and Micro LED offer vibrant, true-to-life colors. Their viewing angles are also excellent, with no noticeable color shift even from extreme angles. Additionally, both technologies are energy efficient, which is a big plus for battery-powered devices. 
In comparison to other display technologies, Retina Display and Micro-LED stand out due to their superior color accuracy, contrast, and energy efficiency. Retina Display and Micro-LED are currently the pinnacle of display technology, offering exceptional color reproduction, viewing angles, and power efficiency. So what's the takeaway from all this? From TFT and IPS LCDs to OLEDs and their AMOLED variants, each display technology has its unique strengths. Dynamic AMOLEDs offer vibrant colors and deep blacks, while LTPS LCDs and OLEDs provide high resolution and faster refresh rates. Retina displays boast incredible pixel density and micro-LEDs excel in energy efficiency. Remember, the best display technology for you depends on your specific needs and preferences. In the end, it's all about what looks best to your eyes.